is Tuesday and Gavin's here and I just looked out the door and it's snowing. The sun's shining up there, but it's definitely snowing. He sees red socks. Oh, those are his Elmo socks. They're about too small for his big feet. I actually feet. said that. I actually thought they were too little for him. Cutting off the circulation of his toes. <laughs> you have big toes. Get you. He's gonna 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 get you. <laughs> A Kleenex box. That's what he'd rather have than toys. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. He's gonna get you. <laughs> Weedo's tired of listening to the crying. He said, please put me out of my doggy misery. Please shut that kid up. At Subway for dinner again, and this is my mess. Pretty messy. Um, and my neat one. Kevin's is nice and neat. And Ashley's and flat one. Mine is neater than all of yours. Ashley's is completely flat. Is that cheese or mayonnaise? What is that? It's mozzarella. Cheese. I don't eat mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, I know. That's why I was shocked. Mine's the messiest. Hello, today is Tuesday. I am standing in the hall because I wanted to see where I could catch the cat and he is here <laughs> looking looking down upon me. Um, he, uh, yeah, look at him. He doesn't realize that I can see him. I see you up behind my head. I'm going to step back and see if he tries to get me. Yeah, looking down at me. Anyway, I have a story about the cat that I want to tell you. So I wanted you to see who I was talking about. This is Chapel, in case you uh, haven't seen any videos uh, uh, that we have posted of him. I'm sure if you watch me, you've seen him because he's a little terror, literally. Um, but anyway, this is what happened. Um... Last week, when Kevin brought my slippers from Kohl's, I took the slippers out, the house shoes out, and I put the Kohl's bag on the bed. And so I was sitting at the computer, and the bed's behind me, and I heard rustling in the bag. And I thought, well, that's no big deal. Uh, Chapel's playing in the bag. He likes to, he's a cat. He likes to lay in a bag, you know, just like cats do. So no big deal. So... Uh, it was probably a minute later, I heard this really loud, um, just a, like a bang that went out the door, and then I heard it go around the hall, and I knew it was the cat, around the hall, and uh, through here, and then through, uh, out through this way, through the dining room, and then into the kitchen, and Kevin was in the kitchen at the time, grading papers or something, and he said, what the heck was that? And, well, it was Chapel. And we didn't know what happened. Well, he had gotten that uh, Coles bag around his neck. And he got caught. And so he tried to leap off the bed to try to get it off. And instead, it just got tighter around his neck. And so the whole time he's running through the hall and through the dining room, this bag is on his back flapping and scaring the pee out of him literally the cat tinkled all the way down the hall all the way through the dining room kevin had to clean up the cat pee because it scared him that bad and where he ended up was uh behind the washing machine 
and I actually took a little video of it when he was behind the washing machine, but I didn't use it for my vlog that day because I just felt bad. You know, he, he, um, it clearly scared him so, so, so bad for a cat to, uh, pee like that on the floor. You know, it, it just really, really scared him. So later on that night, uh, he was, he, he was just, Chapel is a very social cat. He loves people. He loves uh, everyone to know that he's around. And we think that is uh, has a lot to do with him being raised with Guido, our pug. Uh, the pug's never met a stranger. And uh, we believe that that has a lot to do with um, Big Brother. You know, that Big Brother has taught him to be social. And when people come to the door, you greet them. And, you know, he's just always made his presence known. So that night, he was just acting like he was in a lot of pain and he was hurt. And so uh, the next day, um, I watched him. I was watching him as he was walking. And one of his back... Uh, pause it looked like he was walking funny so I told Ashley later that day I said um, I don't think he's broken anything but he does act like he's in some pain well she looked at his foot and there was a hole literally like a black hole where like the the nail would have been so um, it was really disturbing looking actually because you see you know like the the little pat the little pause and then you see a black hole so she took him to the vet the next day and that's the day that i took guido to the vet too if you watch that vlog and um the vet said that he had torn out most of his um nail and that he had left just a little bitty piece left of the nail he said so it may or may not grow back when it grows back, it may or may not be crooked. We just don't know. Um, but hopefully it will grow back. Hopefully it'll be normal. He has been a lot more active lately. Um, every day that goes by, of course, just like us, when we cut ourselves or hurt ourselves, you know, every day that goes by, the pain uh, lessens. So, but anyway, what I thought was so funny about him um, going to the vet, the vet just cracked me up because... Uh, the vet is holding the cat and he says, um, you know, he, he needs to have the shot. He said it's infected a little bit and he said he needs this shot. And as he's giving the cat the shot, he says, this is a little expensive. So it just, that cracked me up because I thought, I said, I told him, I said, you know, uh, I like how you did that. I like your method there. You're telling me it's a little expensive as you're giving it to the cat. So there's no way I can tell you, oh, we can't afford it or, oh, we don't want to do that right now. You know, you've already given it to him. And I told him, I said, do you realize that she makes just a little bit more than minimum wage? This is her cat. She's paying for this. Uh, you know, she has a, she goes to school full time and she works part time. And so anyway, I do think she got a little bit of a discount, uh, or maybe a lot of a discount, um, cause it really wasn't that expensive, but she does pay for the cat herself. That was our deal when we moved in this house. It's your cat. You pay for, you know, you want the cat. You're going to pay for vet bills. You're going to pay for food, litter, all that. And she has, she has, um, she has been great about that. I think it's teaching her a lot of responsibility. Um, uh, you know, that she has to be responsible for this animal. But I just, that just, uh, the vet just made me laugh. Um, it reminded me, I was telling somebody the other day, it reminded me of in the movie Death Becomes Her. Um, is it Meryl Streep? Meryl Streep is drinking a potion that Isabella, Isabella Rossellini has given her. And she drinks the potion, and then Isabella Rossellini says, and now a warning. And she says, and now a warning? You know, I've drank it, now you're going to give me a warning? That was the same thing with the vet and the shot, you know. Uh, it's a little expensive, as you're giving so. Um, I just thought that was funny, and I don't know if he operates that way all the time, but um, 
I, I had to say something to him because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't born yesterday. So anyway, um, uh, I've just been doing some laundry today. And, oh, my aunt called me and told me that one of the videos I just uploaded today, of course, you won't see this until tomorrow, but one of the videos I uploaded today, the Red Robin Steak Fries review that Kevin did, um, it was not working properly for her. And she said, the, you know, I watched it a couple times to make sure it wasn't my computer, but then I realized it was the video itself, so she contacted me. If ever you see a video, now I know... I use uh, Media Player, or Movie Player, one of those, I'm not good with the names, um, to make my videos. I know between like each scene there's like a little black, but it automatically clears up. Um, if it does that, that's fine, but this was actually missing like chunks of, you could hear Kevin talking, but you could not see him. So she knew something was wrong, but if ever you, you do see a video, uh, that where you can hear the talking and you can't see anything, then please do let me know in the comments because more than likely I will have to um, uh, take it down and upload it again because something probably happened when I was actually uh, creating the video. There's the funky pug back in the back and the cat that's missing a claw. I wonder if I could show you that now. I don't know if he'll let me. If I can get him to be still, I don't want to hurt him, I'll show you where that claw is missing. It's really disturbing. Okay, he knows I'm coming over here, and why is she coming up to me? Why is she coming up to me? Is it this, is it this foot trouble? No, I don't see anything on that foot. Okay, is it this foot? I can't, oh, it must be this foot. Let me just see real quick, real quick. Real, real, okay, okay, I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. He's not going to let me show you. I just wanted to see it real quick. Can I just see it real quick? Oh, there it is. The, okay, I don't know if it's going to show up on film. Right in there. Is a hole. I'm gonna turn this off and turn my flash on and see if you can see it. Okay, my flash is on, and right in there is where that claw is missing. You can see it. Yeah. Yeah, right in there where it's pink looking. It's quite disturbing. But that is where he pulled that claw out. And you can see why he wouldn't want me to touch it right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, stretch it out so we can really see it. Yeah. See how pink that is? That, uh, that hole? That's what Ashley saw that first night. And she's like, something is bad wrong. And that's why we took him to the vet the next day. So, I'm glad I was able to show that to you. This tower that we have sitting in the corner, I absolutely love it because um, my parents bought it for me years ago and it matches the color of our bed perfectly and matches our dresser perfectly. And this used to have the big old 70s style like mirror on top of it and we just took it off and so um, we just use it just like this without the mirror. So I think it really um, updated the look of that. Anyway, this was a tower that they bought, and we used to keep our VHS tapes uh, in it. And since we don't have VHS tapes, um, I've been keeping uh, Gavin's stuff in here since we moved um, into this house, and diapers and toys and things like that. But I'm getting to the point where it's he's getting more and more clothes, and I'm having to shove them in here. And I've already emptied out this drawer and put like blankets and stuff like that in there. So I was thinking today, I keep all these envelopes in this drawer. This whole drawer is nothing but envelopes. And there's absolutely no reason to have them in here any longer. Um, these are back from when Andrew was in boot camp. And he was allowed, during boot camp, they were allowed to have one protein bar per package, I believe. 
So a protein bar fit perfectly in here, and they have the bubbles on the inside for protection so they could go through the, the post office. And uh, so anyway, those were left over from when he was in boot camp years ago. So all these, uh, I have all these envelopes that are taking up this drawer for absolutely no reason because I very, very rarely send anything through the mail anymore. And like our water bill is the only bill that gets paid with a check, and they send an envelope with the bill. So, I mean, um, just rare that I use an envelope. So, I went up in the attic, and I got a box. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put those envelopes in here and put them upstairs in the office and uh, then have this whole drawer for Gavin. I have my box of envelopes, and I'm upstairs now, and I was on my way to the office, and I noticed on top of Ashley's armoires, she has all of these extra shoe boxes up here. And really, that is a much bigger box than I need. So I am going to steal one of her boxes and switch my envelopes out. That made a lot more sense to put the envelopes in a shoe box. And uh, this takes up much less space. And now I have that entire drawer and I can just slide these under the desk and no one has to even know they're there. Just got in from Kroger and I wanted to show you, this is an example of what I was talking about, about the companies putting their logo on the box. Like this one's from Sephora and I actually knew it was coming, so it's no big deal. But I don't see why they can't put that in another box to ship it because what if I had ordered her something from Sephora and she didn't know about it? Uh, then that would have given it away. So anyway, we just got in from Kroger, and they had cheese on sale. And look, they had a new kind of cheese. At least new. It says new. Jalapeno white cheddar. And then uh, these were like $1.79. And then these pre-met were three for $2. And I had a dollar off coupon that Kroger had sent me in the mail. And then... Uh, Coke Zeros were on sale for $1.99 each, and we got two Diet Mountain Dew. So I only paid like 15 bucks for all this. So we did pretty good. Ashley's going to open her Sephora box. And she, she ordered this. She paid for this, so she knows what it is. They put enough tape on it. And you get three free samples. What did you get? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, when I ordered, um, Sephora is really good about giving samples. They let you choose stuff. Some perfume that smells like old lady. Well, I'll take it. I don't want you to smell like old lady either. We'll re-gift it. No, I'm kidding. Um, some primer and daily moisturizer. Then... Get an extra 20% off sale items with this code, which is extra 20. I'll tell you. Um, through the 25th of December to the 1st of January. So it's like five days you get to do that. And then this Most Love Scents catalog, and it gives you some samples. I'm not really a perfume person. I'm not willing to spend $80 on a thing of perfume. I just, I like the Amber Blush from Bath & Body. That's what I use. But you will spend $100 on makeup. Yes, I will. This was $52 plus shipping, Make I think. Make it three. And it's in a very nice package. And then, you get Urban Decay Primer Potion, a sample. Oh, you get the original Eden Sin and the anti-aging. That's nice. Huh, I have to use that. And that's just a little divider. It has a weird texture. It's like somebody's taken their fingers and drug it in there while it was wet. I don't know. It's odd. Um, it clips the same way as the Naked 2 palette does, which is something in addition that I really liked about the Naked 2 palette. Um, because the first Naked palette just sets on there. Here's the brush. 
Um, it reminds me a lot of the Naked 2, except this is a little bit more, um, what is it called? Flexible? No. They're more packed together. They're closely dense. packed. Dense. Dense. It's dense. Thank you. And then this is a nice brush to put eyeliner on with, I think. But I'm so excited. Too bad you already have eye makeup on. You'll have to wait till tomorrow to try it. I, I like love that, that liar. I love it. I like it. that black heart on the end. Ooh, that's pretty. That'll be pretty on your eyes. I'm very, very, very excited. One thing I didn't realize is that this is a matte. Normally, the first color is a highlighter, but they don't really give you one. That doesn't look very shiny to me. Oh my God, it's just, it's... That's pretty. It's a matte white. Not really a highlighter, but that's okay because there are highlighters in the other two. I'm excited. Something else I wanted to say, too, about them leaving the box with the name of it on your porch is that uh, we weren't at home, so this box was on the porch. If it had been a great big box, like last week I received a big box with a name on it, and that one told exactly what was in it and everything. If I hadn't have been here to get it, somebody walking down the street could have seen that and just came up and stole it and kept walking. So uh, that's another reason just for security in general why I don't like putting uh, the store name or the contents on the outside of the box. Okay, it's almost 8 o'clock and Guido gets a treat. These are the fresh. <laughs> and he, he's going to dance for one. Are you going to dance for it? Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Pugs can dance. Did you know Pugs can dance? And it's green. Pugs can dance. Dance for it, Pug. How bad do you want it? Oh. <laughs> Here. No, he's going to run back. Take it to your blanket. Take it to your blanket. Take it to your blanket. There we go. He's going to eat it right here. Now we are going to uh, watch Survivor. And that will be the end of Wednesday night.